I guess my vision sort of like for Els Bar started to become more apparent as I went on. And initially, small stage um, in the main bar, live music, and then this function room, which was giving me sort of some sort of income. It's a hard game um, at making, try, trying to make a, a ends meet out of live music. But I was really into um, supporting the local bands, and I supported a lot of the metal acts and uh, a lot of the emerging bands that I gave gigs to. What it meant to the city um, was, wasn't something that I was totally aware of until um, the earthquakes. The, um, it actually seemed to mean a lot to Christchurch, which was very humbling. Owls was definitely a different crowd each night. You just didn't drop in. Unless you're a real committed mu music lover, you wouldn't have come, you know, like every night or anything like that. There were a lot of interesting people came through that bar. It's just so many, so many great shows. Well, I just loved going to work. So many interesting people. That guy Dianio, who was a singer from Iron Maiden, who was just a real dick, you know, just like total over the top, still believed he was a great rock star, you know, and like just I could probably sit here for three or four hours if we wanted to go through the, the bands that had played there and the great nights that, that we had. And I got a call from the landlord saying, hey, sorry, buddy, it's going down. It was quite a devastating blow because there was no justification for taking Els Bar down. It could have been easily fixed. I think that, um, that it had probably quite a reasonable significance in the city.